So I'm going to start recording now. Damn it. Sorry, guys. Um, so I want you to listen to, uh, to this section right at the beginning of the recording. And you need to be able to hear the difference between the number one and number two. Okay. If you can't, if it's, if it's difficult to hear the difference between one and two, then it's going to be even more difficult to say it. All right. Mm -hmm. um, and regarding your L, I highly recommend you stick with the light L. All right. So here I go. I'll say it a couple times here. Um, here we go. Full. 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 Full, fool, fool, full, fool, full, fool, 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 full. Um, and what I want you to do is I want you to listen to that and then write down one, 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 two, two, one, two, one, two, and then send it to me and I'll check. Okay. Anybody can do this. Uh, send it to me and I will check uh, to see if your answers are correct. I want you to try and listen only one time and give me the answers um, and then uh, check your answers. Okay. Okay. Shane. May I say number two is like a diphthong, a small diphthong? Absolutely. Okay, so although I have two O's, it's, it's not like a book. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, so, yeah, that's a good question. So, full and book are the same. It's the same uh, 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 uh. Um, so, yeah, the spelling is not the rule, unfortunately. And there you go, rule. So, rule is like fool. So, um, this, yeah, the spelling is not going to help you. Now, remember, guys, and I've talked about this many times, when Americans are speaking fast, this is easy. Full, full, full. Americans often do not say fool. They say fool, fool. They say it in one syllable, so they don't make a diphthong. But. Right now, for you guys who are, are still trying to master that pronunciation, I want to take you back to perfect pronunciation. And in this case, with long vowels, A, I, you know, uh, A, E, I, O, U, uh, and this one, U, uh, using a diphthong format, is going to be easier to distinguish it. Once you can master perfect pronunciation, then we can go quicker. Uh, so this is extremely difficult. These pronunciations are really tough uh, in the beginning, um, and you really need to make sure that your perfect pronunciation is perfect before you start uh, worrying about speed and stuff, the vowel. Does that make sense? I hope so. Any other questions? Fall. Yeah, fall. So fall is also tough. Um, and this is an A-W, aw. And the whole idea of the A-W is the tongue, the tip of the tongue goes in your lower jaw right where it gets soft, right in the soft part and pushes down. Aw. Uh, it's very vertical. If people put their hands, I usually say like this, put your hands on your mouth, ah, uh, fall, fall, fall. It's perfect pronunciation. And that's what my teachers taught me when I was, uh, we would have to sing European songs. In high school, I was a, a member of the choir. And they had lots of European songs, old church songs. And our teacher would teach us, uh, how to get the pronunciation, and the A-W pronunciation, aw, 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 very vertical, the tongue's got to push down. At first, it's very awkward, but in time, it's much easier. Fall, fall, fall. Feel and fuel, F 
fuel. Fuel is a true diphthong. Fuel is a true diphthong. Fill, feel, fuel. Yep. Fill and feel are confusing. Uh, that's the short E. So fill is the short I and feel is the long E. And people have a problem uh, with that too. Uh, fill and feel. And this is pretty easy to teach, but you need to focus. When you do the short I, the sound comes right out. Fill, fill. So imagine shooting the sound here. Fill, fill. Fill, fill. But the E, the long E, it goes out. Feel, 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 feel. It's much easier to teach short I and long E than the uh, uh and oo. For some reason, that's really tough. And again, fuel. Fuel is actually a true diphthong. It sounds like few and then oh. Fuel, fuel. Always a diphthong. Always okay. a diphthong. Diphthong, everybody, means two vowel sounds. Oops, uh, D-I-P-H, sorry. Uh, it means two vowel sounds together. All right. Great questions. Let's go ahead and scoot over to our next one. Should I do 355? No. Should I do 356? It's pretty short. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. Nope. I'm going to go to 353. 353. I, sorry. 354. I always get confused. We'll do the sad story of the bear. Mm -hmm. You guys, back in the morning. I know, but we have too many people to do the other one. Why did you start to mention rip in the why rip rest in peace? Why? So who can who can tell the story? What happened? Bertha, can you tell the story? About what? About this bear. What happened to Vinny? Well, you said um, he was killed a uh, couple of days ago by a hunter, oh. by, maybe by mistake or something. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. So this, this video actually comes from 2013, and a couple of days ago, uh, the bear was uh, shot by a hunter. Yeah. That's why Santa said rip. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, so here's here's the oh even the BBC talks about it. Um, but yeah. Isn't that sad? Okay. You should have that in uh, action English. Uh probably next week. That's a few. Okay. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, so we'll start with Bertha. And uh, basically, at the beginning, I'll give you guys some big chunks here. And then I'll start making it smaller. Bertha, take the yellow. And then I'll call the people out. Go ahead, Bertha. Oh, Bertha, your mic is off. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that. Uh, Yogi Bear's cousin, uh, 2013. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Amy, big update on yesterday's story. That's right. Remember that big mystery in New Jersey? We first showed you this video on Thursday. The bear walking on two feet. Everton. So many people are sharing the video, and we are all wondering if it was real. So we sent ABC's Ron Claiborne to find out. See for yourself. That experts tell ABC News 
is not someone in, in a bare suit. They say it really is a bear standing on his hind legs and walking just as comfortably and smoothly as a person. Juliana. I think he walks better than you, Don. Um, he stuck his head up at first and then he stood up fully and then he started to walk. There is it, there is it. This scene this couch on camera, July 19. The beer and I'm blending down in a residential street in suburban Old Ridge, New Jersey. That is a be 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 pedal beer. And sorry, uh, up to here. Karen. Two weeks later, the day he again just two doors down. He's looking at me. It's scary at first, but after you have seen it a couple of times, it just became weird. McGowan says local residents have nicknamed this beer Finney. It turns out state wildlife officials have been monitoring Finney ever since he was first reported to them back in June. And Sydney. Yes, they say I am the three years old and weighs about 250 pounds. And he's walking upright because his two front paws are injured. More than likely it was a car accident. Bears cannot walk on their hind legs very well. Do you see him? And Steve. Officials see the bear and his bear brethren are not a danger to people, and they have no plans to capture or relocate him. Live and live and let live. Ron Cleveland, ABC News, New York. Oh, they can't help. Oh, they can't help. Oh, they can't. They can't help him with his paws. Yeah, I hope they can do it. Let's go back to Berta, uh, just one line at a time. Uh, so Berta, Everton, Juliana, pop, 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 one line at a time. Berta? Yeah, I'm surprised they're not going to capture him. Everton? I know. I feel, like, I feel like he needs some help. Juliana? If only to give him medical help. But I love how when he noticed the cameras being shoot and shooting, he actually gets down on all fours. And Karen? Like, wait, I don't want to let anyone know I have this power. And Sydney? Like that, oh, sorry, like that's not, that's not gonna, that's not my good angle, angle. Uh, good, good, good job. Steve? Look at that. Look at look at the hall. There he goes. There he goes. Berta? Uh, yeah, he's like, oh, but I'm not going to let... Oh, but he's ginger. Look at... Yeah, it's very... Uh, you know, you can tell. Very good. Everton? It is funny to you here. It might be a bad thing. And Juliana? I know... Well, we wish he will. We wish him he will. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. And I'll talk about that in a second. Great job, everybody. Uh, let me go back to the beginning. Ah, Bertha, do you know what the problem is? Yep. Z. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, you know what? I said it right in the morning. I know. I don't know. I know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Jersey, Jersey. Do you have any friends from Jersey? Oh, a lot. Great. I have a friend here in Hansfield. She's from Jersey, but New Jersey. Yeah. There you go. She helps me with my English. That's excellent. All right, Everton. We were all wondering 
We were all wondering. This is tough. We were all wondering if it was real. We were all wondering if it was real. Great job. One more time. We were all wondering if it it was real. Super job. Very, very good. Very good. And let's ah in a bear suit. In a bear suit. Bear. Bear. Good. Make it a diphthong. Bear. Bear. More. Bear. Bear. Put your hands in the air. 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 Bear. Good. Good. Yeah. It's it's too much, but I want you to practice that. In a bear suit. In a bear suit. Good. Now let's try and be proper. In a bear suit. In the bear suit. Excellent job. Perfect. Perfect. Comfortably. No. Comfortably. 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 Do you know Pink Floyd? Yeah. What's one of his Beautiful. greatest songs? Yeah, beautiful guitar solos. Uh, one of my favorite solos. Comfortably numb. Comfortably numb. Comfort, comfort, comfortably numb. Ah, has become comfortably numb. Yeah, comfortably numb. So just listen to that. He doesn't say comfortably. He says comfortably numb. Comfortably numb. Comfortably numb. Could you please expel the pronunciation for that because it's kind of confusing for the expert. Yep. yep, I'm going to write it out here. Um, and yeah, I hope it's not too confusing. So, and once again, everybody, uh, you might not like the music, but I'll give you a link to a song by a guy named a band called Pink Floyd. And, uh, oh, God, it's, I really like the song. But uh, this is uh, with lyrics, too. Good. And uh, can you do comfortable, comfortably, too? Comfortable. I'm sorry? Yeah. Can you comfortable, too? Comfortably and comfortable. Yeah. It's, it's hard for me. That, that word. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, so they're both the same. It's really crazy because we change the order uh, comfortable and comfortably. So if you go slow and practice it, uh, you, you can get it. Uh, again, comfortable and comfortably. Okay, and I'm going to just play this song for a second, just a second, see if I can get it. So you changed the R. The R to the T, huh? We changed the order. So the, the original... Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the reason I wanted, you to, I wanted you to spell it because... Yep. Uh, that's curious, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Comfortably numb. So check out the song. Uh, right at the two-minute mark, you can hear him say it. Uh, and I like the music. It's a great song. Everton, isn't it a great song? Yeah, it's very beautiful. It is, yeah. It's a very sad song. It's all about drugs. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go to this one. Who was my victim? Was it Juliana Foley? Foley. Good. He stood up fully. He stood up fully. Great. Perfect job. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. More R. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. This sighting. This sighting. Caught on camera. Caught on camera. And here too, we don't say camera, we say camera. Kind of like with two M's. Camera. 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 This camera. sighting caught on camera. 
This sighting ca caught on camera. One more time. This sighting caught on camera. This sighting caught on camera. Bipedal. 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 We say both, okay? I think in the video they said bipedal bear. Bipedal bear. Very good, very good. And Karen, there he goes again. There he goes again. It's scary at first. It's scary at first. Get that air, air. It's scary at first. It's scary at first. Local residents. Local residents. Oh, very good, very good. One more time. McGowan says local residents. McGowan says local residents. Vinny. 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 Good, good. Vinny. Vinny. It sounds like Vitney, Vitney. I want it for the <laughs> Vinny. Vinny. Wildlife officials. Wildlife officials. Give me the D. Wild, the, the, the wildlife officials. Wildlife officials. Give me the L. Wildlife officials. Wildlife officials. Great job. Monitoring Vinny. Monitoring Vinny. Great. Super job. Thank you. Sydney Juvenile. Juvenile. He's a juvenile. He's a juvenile. Car accident. Car accident. Perfect. Relocate. Steve? Relocate. No plans, relocate. no plans to capture or relocate him. No plan no plans to capture or relocate him. It's gotta be more re. There's a rule everybody. Re if verb again. R if no verb again. Does this make sense? So let me show you a word. Um, redo. Is it, uh, can we say, uh, is it redo or redo? It's a redo. Right, because do again. That makes sense, right? Yes. Yeah. So what about this one? Relocate. Can we say locate again? Yes. Therefore? Yeah, it's a relocate. Good. What about this one? Can we say member again? No. So? No. Remember. Exactly. Remember. Okay? So this is a, a rule that Coach Shane made. But it's a pretty good rule. It seems to work. So if you're confused about re or r, then say, take out the re, use the verb, verb again. If it's okay, uh, re. If it's not okay, r. That's the idea. So again, uh, do this section one more time, Steve. No plans to capture or relocate him. Exactly, exactly. And you did a good job here. Uh, I just want to compare. Say that. L live or leave. Excellent. Excellent. And here too. Thank you. They can't help him. Uh, they can't help him with his paws. They can help him with this with his paws. Pause. 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 Great job. Very good. Francisco. When he notices the camera. Ah, uh, no, this was. Did I skip you, Francisco? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. What's my problem? Okay. 
Okay, uh, Francisco, I'm going to give you. Uh, I'm going to give you a bonus section. I apologize so much. I'll give you a bonus. Okay, you and. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. My goodness. Uh, I feel terrible. Uh, this was who was this? This was Juliana. When he notices the cameras. When he notices the cameras. The the the. the, the um, one more. The cameras. When he notices the camera. One more. When he notices the camera. Cameras. Cameras. Being shot and shooting. Being shot and shooting. And I'm not exactly sure about this dictation, but that's good enough. Uh, let's go to Karen. I don't want to let anyone know I have this power. I don't want to let anyone know I have this power. Great job. Have this. Keep more TH. Have this power. Have this power. Great job. And these two wells, I like this sentence because the wells are different. This well is meaningless, doesn't mean anything. This well is good. So but, uh, I want the expression, um, Juliana. Well, we wish him well. Well, we wish him hit well. Well, we wish him well. Well, we wish him, we wish him well. There you go, there you go. Uh, and the idea, of course, healthy is the idea. Now, I sincerely apologize to Francisco. So I'm going to give Francisco a chunk of something here. And uh, I'm going to give Francisco a difficult section. Francisco, oh. I want all of this. Uh, actually, we'll go all of this. This. Uh, uh, yellow section here. Go ahead, Francisco. Oh. On the outside of the box, a warning. Forbidden for transport by aircraft. Meant for ground transport only. Put a note 7 inside a static, static shield. Because the phones are now considered fire hazards, the company is telling everyone to power down immediately. And this new video demonstrates exactly why. What has this woman in Hawaii walks into a room with a Galaxy Note 7 with blowing smoke. Seconds later, seconds later, she faints. Great job. Very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. On the outside. On the outside. Put the, more TH, put the Note 7. Put the Note 7. More TH. Put the Note 7. Static shield. Static shield. Shield. Static shield. 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 Considered, uh, are now considered fire hazards. Now, are now considered fire hazards. Can, can, are now considered fire hazards. Are now considered fire hazards. 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 Good. The company is telling everyone. The company is telling everyone. Demonstrates. Demonstrates. Demon. It's the uh, same thing. Demonstrates. 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 Exactly why. Exactly why. Watch as this woman. Watch as this woman. So we got to watch as Z, this S, watch as this woman. Watch as this woman. Good job. One more time. Watch as this woman. Billowing smoke. Billowing smoke. Yep. Billowing. Billowing smoke. Faints. Faints. More S. Faints. Faints. I apologize. If, if I skip this, you okay. got to tell me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Questions on anything. You guys did really nice. I'll take questions on anything. Okay, I have. Yes, sir. When you, when, when you use the explanation to see the ball to re, redo and remember, use an apostrophe. So may I consider like a demonstrate that's here like a schwa sound, remember, remember, like schwa, a close or um, remember, remember. So no, 
It works with reads. Um, it doesn't work with Ds. Uh, so, for example, uh, deny, um, denote, um, determine. So these are all verbs. And we can say all, everything, deny, denote, determine, and we can say deny, denote, determine. Uh, so we don't have a clean rule like we do with the re's. The re's, it's a, it really seems to be a really good rule uh, about how to do it. Um, but the d's generally seem to be both. Now, the word demonstrate is, is not a d verb. It's a de. It's actually very different. Demonstrate. Uh, so be careful with the with some of them. A lot of students said demonstrate, but you can't. It has to be de. Demonstrate. It's the only possibility. This deny, deny, denote, denote, determine, determine. All are possible, but this one must be de. Demonstrate. Okay, and when you explain about feel, feel and feel down and front, uh, may I use it to leave and leave? Yep, leave and live, same thing, yes. Okay, live, leave, okay, thank you. All right, uh, a couple of words here from Juliana. I'll just copy them. So let me hear you say it. Try this one. Pomegranate? No. This one. Dessert. Not bad. This one. Philadelphia? Good. This one. Curry? Actually, yes, but in America, no. So let me help you out here. Pomegranate, so it's Palm, 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 gran, like grandma, granite, pomegranate, 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 pama, 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 granite, granite, pomegranate, pomegranate, dessert, dessert, dessert. 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 Desert. Desert. Dessert. Desert. Dessert. Desert. Good. Here was good. Philadelphia. 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 Great job. And Curry is actually correct, but in America they almost always say curry, curry, curry. Curry. Cur, cur. Curry. 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 Great job. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Dessert. Dessert. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Philadelphia cream cheese. Philadelphia cream cheese. <laughs> curry. C curry. Curry. Good. Curry. Curry. Curry sauce. Curry sauce. Great job. Very good. This is an A.W. Curry sauce. A.W. Uh, A.W. Sauce. Saw. Like, I saw you, sauce. 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 Make it faster. Sauce. Sauce. Curry sauce. Curry sauce. Great job. Thank you, Coach. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much. Benita, say it. Ah, uh, incredible. Good. Don't give me a D. Give me a D. Incredible. Incredible. 
Very good. So it's in, it sh I do recommend a, a short I and then cre and then a double, double, double. Um, the E and cre is not a schwa, right? No, that's where the accent is, so it's a short E. Incredible. Incredible. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. I like I love it when the students are happy. That makes me really happy, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys don't follow Everton on Instagram, I recommend that you do. He has a nice clip of him playing uh Bossa Nova guitar. Excellent. I'm not a I I I'm not a jazz fan. I'm not a Bossa Nova fan, but I I appreciate it. And when I, it was funny, when I first heard him playing the guitar, I was like, is there a piano in the background? And then I realized, oh no, that's just him on the guitar. It's really good, really good. Yeah, you can join his hangout too. On exactly, Thursday. his Let's Talk About a Hangouts, absolutely. Yeah. Steve, enjoy your dinner. Yeah. Enjoy what time your hangouts on Thursday? Everton, what time are your hangouts? Uh, four a four thirty uh, a.m. L.A. Four thirty a.m. L.A. And what is your Instagram account? Can you write it down? Oh yeah. So four thirty a.m. Los Angeles. So that's uh in Tuesday. On what Thursday. day? Thursday. 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 It's a little bit early, but be tough. <laughs> and Everton, Zacchini, but it's one word, right? Yes, yes, yes. So that's his Instagram. You can check out his guitar. Fantastic. How can I join this? So how can, how can people join your Hangout, Everton? Uh, just uh, I need the Gmail. Because we do for Hangout uh, Google Plus, so may, uh, leave a message on box with the email. Uh, can, can I give them your uh, email right now? Oh, sorry. Can I give everybody your email here? Yes, yes, yep. Uh, Everton guitar player. Uh, oh, oh I, I'm using another. Yeah, because of the I need the Gmail. Ah, uh, so Everton. Guitar player. Uh, is that right? Yes. There you go. So, can send an email or uh, leave a message on box to um, mark me. There you go. Excellent. And don't forget, Bertha has hangouts too Thursday evening. Bertha, what time are your hangouts? Um, there are. 6 p.m. LA time, and they're on Thursday. I mean Tuesday and on Thursday. 6 p.m. Uh, LA, right? So 8 p.m. Central. 6 p.m. LA. Yeah. And right now, where uh, I'm doing, I'm trying the this go to meeting for a month. So I'm putting the link in the students hang out. Ah. Okay. So in the future, Berta, uh, I'll probably have to get another go to meeting account so uh they're going to have you pay for it you don't unless is there, is there a free version yeah but only for uh, for a month okay okay so yeah i don't know if it will be in november december but probably in january i think i can let you probably use a uh, go to meeting for free yeah all right sounds great that'll be great to do Excellent. that but this month and if any of you uh, want to hang out any day after 6 p.m. LA, I'm always here. This is my computer time. So you just leave a message there and I'll send you an invite any day for this month. I mean, for a month only. <laughs> but mostly um, permanently it's going to be uh, Tuesday and, and Thursdays. Excellent. But now it's free, so. Now's the time. Now's the time. Yeah. 
Thank you so much, guys. Okay. Sydney, go ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, after 6 p.m., Bert is red for one month. What does it mean? Uh, to talk. Okay, but when? Now? Ah, uh, 6 p.m. L.A. So 6 p.m. L.A., uh, which is, yeah, you have to okay. check it out. Um, okay. Another question. You told me that you, you, you were going to change the schedule. Do you have news? Um, nothing's confirmed, but starting in January, I will let you guys know. By the middle of November, I'll let you guys know uh, the schedule. Uh, and the schedule will be, for us, for the rest of October, November, December, the same. But probably the last week in December, no class. And then in January, we'll have a kind of a new schedule. Um, and I will tell you that schedule in the middle of November. So I'll give you plenty of time to, to know, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Koshin. Have a fantastic week, a uh, couple weeks, everybody, and I will see you soon. Thanks so much, Coach. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much, Bye. Coach. Bye. 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 Bye.